Let's learn what is Euler's formula. We have some solids here, that is, we have some polyhedrons, cuboid, triangular pyramid, triangular prism, pr pyramid with square base and prism with square base. F represents faces, V for vertices, E for edges, and then we have to fill this data of F plus V and E plus 2. Let's start with cuboid. In the case of cuboid, how many faces does a cuboid have? It has six faces, front, back, top, bottom, right side, and left side. So it has six faces, okay? Now tell me, how many vertices does a cuboid have? So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight vertices. How many edges does a cuboid have? It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and this twelve. So you have twelve edges. Okay. Now next is triangular pyramid. So in a triangular pyramid, it has a triangular base. And if you have to tell how many faces does a triangular pyramid have, it has four faces. The bottom one that is a base and the three triangular faces that are made on these edges, right? So it has four faces. How many vertices does a triangular pyramid have? So it has one, two, three, and this common vertex, that is four vertices. Okay, how many edges does a triangular pyramid have? One, two, three, then four, this five, and this six. So it has six edges. Next is triangular prism. It has a triangular prism because the top and the bottom, that is a base, is triangular. Okay. What about F, that is number of faces? So it has two triangular faces, top one and the bottom, that is base, and it has one, two, and three parallelogram three parallelograms, that is the lateral surfaces are made up of parallelograms. So it has three lateral surfaces and two triangular surfaces top and bottom, so five. So this is five. What about vertices? It has one, two, and three, four, five, and six vertices, six. What about uh, edges? So if you have to count the edges, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Right now, next is pyramid with a square base. How many faces? So it's a pyramid with a square base means that square is the base, and then on each of the side of the square you have a triangular face. So in a square you have four sides. It means that on those four sides you'll have four triangular faces. So four triangular faces and one square face that is five faces. What about vertices? One, two, three, four and five vertices. What about edges? One edge, two edge, three edge, four, then five, then six, then seven, then eight. So this is eight vertices. The last one is a prism with a square base. So prism with a square base is actually a cube, right? It's a cube. So let's count the faces. So the faces will be six only. Front, back, top, bottom, right side, front, uh, and left side. So it has six faces. What about vertices? Vertices will be exactly equal to the cuboid, that is 8 only. And what about the edges? Edges will also be equal to the cuboid only. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. At the back, 5, 6, 7, and 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay. So we have collected this data about uh, of these polyhedrons. Now let's fill, let's fill this these two columns. So F plus V in this case is 14 
and e plus 2 that is 12 plus 2 in this case is 14 f plus v in this case is 8 and e plus 2 in this case is again 8 f plus v is 11 and e plus 2 is again 11 f plus v is 10 and e plus 2 is again 10 f plus v is 14 and e plus 2 is again 14 so from these two columns for each of these polyhedrons if you check that if you match these two columns and you'll find that f plus v is equal to e plus 2 that is in a polyhedron for a polyhedron faces plus vertices that is number of faces plus number of vertices is equal to edges number of edges plus 2 or f plus v minus 2 is equal to e so this is actually either this one or this one is actually Euler's formula this is Euler's formula and this is not only true for these polyhedrons it is true for any polyhedron any polyhedron any polyhedron so you have to remember this formula and in future we will solve some problems on this.